Yes, uh, good morning everybody. Welcome to this session of uh, Sustainable Construction Methods. I myself, Irfan Ahmed. Today we'll be seeing this uh, topic, slip form construction. Basically, what is slip form construction and what is the importance of slip form construction, why it is used. Uh, in construction of uh, huge structures, we require a very proper form work. If the form work is uh, proper, then the cost of construction can also be, uh, 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 the cost of construction also reduces. So here we'll be seeing what is this type of form work, what does slip form construction mean. You can see here the slip form construction or continuously moving construction is a construction method in which concrete is poured into a, into a continuously moving form. See basically what happens in huge structures is uh, you just can't uh, keep uh, uh, putting form work and removing it uh, now and then. What happens in huge skyscrapers or huge structures where we are going for uh, uh, high structures, there what we do is we this type of form work is used. This is slip form form work. What happens in this slip form form work is once it is fixed, and uh, what happens when the concrete is poured into it, once the concrete sets in, the formwork is fixed there and then next uh, uh, simultaneously the other formwork is set up in the uh, uh, top parts. Then the construction takes place because of this what happens is the time period in construction also is reduced as well as we get very good type of construction also here. You can see uh, basically this method involves continuous placing of concrete in a shallow mould. Continuous placing of concrete can be done we don't need to wait for the concrete to reach its desired strength we don't need to wait for 21 days basically what happens we wait for 21 days as uh, after 21 days the concrete uh, reaches its desired strength of about 99 uh, uh, percent strength is gained after 21 days of curing but here what happens is once the concrete has been placed after a little time the formwork is fixed there it can be removed and the formwork can be set up at the other uh, other, other layers other uh, floors and then again the con concrete can be placed uh, uh, simultaneously. You can see this rigid mold or slip form as it is called forms the form working deck. Working deck is there. There is a working deck is fixed where the laborers and the workers can work simultaneously. They can pour the concrete simultaneously and cast the other floor form work simultaneously also which is jacked slowly upwards and controlled rate until the required elevation is reached. So what happens basically hydraulic jacks are used. This form work is fixed and once that uh, concrete sets in this form work is slowly moved upward. It is slowly moved upward. You can just uh, understand this with the next slide here see you, you can just understand here you can see here basically this is the hanging deck first what happens if this is your building this is your structure the hanging deck is fixed here first this is your hanging deck to this what happens you can see here these are the concrete forms these are the vertical concrete forms here vertical forms they are fixed then over that this is the working deck this is the working deck basically this working deck what happens people the laborers can move here the labor can move in this part this is the working deck the laborers can move in this part from here to there and what happens is uh, above this you can see uh, this is the lift jack this is the lift jack basically these are the jack where over it this this is a lift jack and this is the yoke over this this is the truss which has been erected basically this is a setup uh, a, a, a setup has been formed using these formwork hanging deck is there concrete form is there lift jack is there yokes are fitted here as well as lattice truss is there over this you can see this is the top deck and this is the concrete supplier now, now what happens from this part the concrete is supplied uh, continuously and from here the concrete is supplied to this these parts where we want the concrete to set in. Once the concrete has been poured from this part, from this concrete supplier, concrete has been poured, now the concrete sets in its desired place. After it sets in, what happens? This part is removed slowly. This part is removed, it is fixed on the top floors and again slowly, once the concrete sets in, this working deck is slowly moved up. It is moved up using the hydraulic jacks. Slowly it is moved up. You don't need to remove this uh, uh, de-shutter this formwork remove this formwork unbolt this formwork and fix it again this is not needed in this type of formwork so this type of formwork uh, is uh, uh, is very important it has played a very essential role in constructing huge structures it saves a lot of time it saves uh, it, it gives you very good type of uh, concrete finish also the desired strength is also reached so this has uh, uh, proved uh, this has uh, 
uh, got a very essential role it has plays in played in construction of high rise structures let us see here uh, in the next now, now let us see what is the procedure involved in this type of uh, slip form uh, construction you can see assembly can only start once the foundations are placed so basically what happens when this form work can be set up is uh, first of all we need to uh, as the uh, all the structures are uh, the the load of the slab uh, comes onto the beams and from the beams it is transferred onto the columns and from uh, from the columns it is transferred onto the foundations uh, that is a substructure once the strut structure has been constructed then only this type of form work can be aligned before that it can't be done substructure is finished then from there this type of form work is set up set up is done after this you can see the wall starter is in correct alignment we have to see once this form foundation has been completed then only this type of form work can uh, set up can take place slip form shuttering is aligned with the help of yokes as uh, we had seen in the previous uh, slide with the help of yokes basically these yokes are the corner vertical members with the help of these corner vertical members this whole setup is done slip form shuttering is done horizontal cross beams connect these yokes so basically when the vertical uh, these vertical elements are connected with horizontal cross beams hydraulic jacks at attached to these cross beams for simultaneous upward movement now you can see here hydraulic jack is connected here for a cross beam for simultaneous upward movement so you can understand here once this setup has been made after your work is over after casting of concrete is over using these hydraulic jacks this form work can slowly be moved upwards without debolting it without deshuttering it it can be slowly moved upwards to the next level or the next floor here the height of the slip form ranges from 1.1 meters to 1.5 meters so the height uh, what is the height of this type of form work is it, it is about 1.1 to 1.5 meters which can be handled very easily it can be fixed very easily as well as this can be moved very easily using these hydraulic jacks to the next floor yokes and cross beams also used to support the working platform as i told you there is a working platform also working platform is also there this working platform is used by the workers to uh, lay this type of concrete or lay the reinforcement steel also once the bottom layer has been completed the concrete has been casted we need to again put the reinforcing steel over lapping steel so uh, there the lapping joint is got there so at those place this working deck platform is used from where we can uh, reinforce the steel from that place so this is a very good setup and it requires uh, what the setup needs a li little bit time but once the setup has been completed it uh, it reduces lot of construction time as well as because of this reduction of construction time the construction cost also is reduced to a very great extent here let us see uh, structure should be rigid and shape maintained at all times basically one thing has to be seen here the structure should be rigid so if the structure is not rigid and it is flexible then this type of form work can't uh, get fixed to that structure because if the structure is rigid only this uh, form work can get fixed to that structure because after the form work is fixed it has to move upward using the hydraulic jacks if this structure is not rigid or it is flexible that uh, that grip can't be got by this form work the grip, grip won't be good make sure there is no lag or else it prevents the structure from free upward movement there shouldn't be any lag it should be tightened up very uh, uh, with gray uh, it should be tightened up uh, uh, low care should be taken it is tightened uh, very uh, immensely uh, by using even packing systems also should be used where that uh, where the lag is not there we need to see about this there shouldn't be any lag there between uh, those uh, elements it is also possible to reduce wall thickness as the construction uh, as the construction gains height uh, see here what is happening is if you think your wall thickness if your construction at the bottom level wall thickness is a little bit uh, greater while going up if you want the wall thickness to be reduced here this wall thickness can be reduced this form work can be change it can be set up the 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 distances can be uh, changed here the the dimensions can be changed and arrangements have to be made in slip form structure that will enable such reduction at regular intervals this arrangement 
treatments can be done this this uh, changes can be made at uh, different intervals also wherever we need it so this can this is possible sometimes basically see this type of construction is that construction in which continuously concrete is being poured and you must have seen and uh, nowadays many constructions um, the whole structure is made of concrete whole structure is made of concrete Re reinforced concrete construction is taking place even the walls are made of reinforced concrete rcc reinforced concrete construction is taking place so this type of form work is also used at those places where even the walls are made up of concrete which uh, which uh, has reinforcing steel inside also in them uh, the the construction is very quick it doesn't require uh, uh, other materials to be used one single material with reinforcing steel so uh, very uh, quickly this structure can be erected using this type of form work let us see you can see just uh, you can just see this uh, figure here hanging deck we have we have this hanging deck as well as we have panels also we have this basically as i told this is a uh, th this is a big column which is which is used to support a uh, 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 over bridge uh, over bridge uh, which is to be constructed so this support how is this support made so basically we have this hanging deck first this is fixed here then over this hanging deck again as i had told you we have this vertical vertical members which are fixed to this panel to this panel this vertical members are fixed to this panel once this is fixed here okay these are bolted here next what happens we have this working deck as i had told you for the workers to work here we have these working working deck is there working deck this is the working deck here you can see here this this brown part this is the working deck where the workers can move and the reinforcing steel can be casted again as our as per our requirement the concrete can be poured by moving in this working deck space as i told you at the corners we has we have this yoke leg this is the vertical uh, members at the corners they are placed at the corners to this the horizontal cross beams are connected and the hydraulic jack is also connected here. we have this lattice girder here over this over this structure we have this lattice girder here this part this is a setup basically this is set up uh, over this we have the lattice gutter and this is the top deck now what happens once this uh, just imagine here this here this construction is over this construction is over after this concrete is set once the concrete sets in here once the concrete sets in at this place now what happens this whole setup moves upward this whole setup moves upward we don't need to deshutter it we don't need to unbolt it and fix it again this whole setup moves upward and again we can start a construction and simultaneous construction takes place on the top deck it takes place once this sets up this is moved upward by the hydraulic jacks and again and the using the cranes hydraulic jack and cranes and the concrete is poured simultaneously so this this saves a lot of time we don't need to wait for the structure to harden then we go and then we uh, set up a form work that is not needed here simultaneous work can happen does, uh, thereby saving a lot of time and next the concrete can be poured simultaneously let us see here now what is the different types of slip form construction we have vertical slip form construction in vertical slip form construction uh, the concrete form may be surrounded by a platform on which workers stand placing steel reinforcing rods into the concrete and ensuring a smooth pour so vertical form work is basically what uh, what will happen is we'll have this vertical form work will be uh, used for structures where we want the form work uh, to be casted and moved upwards moved up so basically vertical form words uh, form work is used uh, where we want the structure once the structure is uh, um, moving upwards top floor it is a vertical structure in those uh, uh, conditions vertical slip form will be used uh, you can see here uh, basically it may be surrounded by a platform on which workers stand placing steel reinforcing rods and concrete and ensuring smooth pour as i told you there is a working deck is there in the vertical slip form where the workers can move around they can put they can put the reinforcing steel in it they can put the concrete can be poured very easily thereby after the concrete is poured we can use the vibrator spin vibrator can be used thereby uh, seeing that the whole concrete is going up to the depth and there uh, and 
and there uh, once the concrete sets in we get a very smooth concrete surface which uh, because of that what happens the plastering also less plastering is required so this is very useful here the concrete form and platform are raised by means of hydraulic jack as I had told you they are raised by using hydraulic jacks once the concrete has been placed we leave some time for the concrete to set in to gain its uh, required strength but thereby simultaneously we start working for the next level uh, where the reinforcing steel and everything the work uh, takes place simultaneously once after leaving it for some days we move upwards by using the hydraulic jack this whole form work is moved upward to the next level and there the work for the next level is uh, takes place you can see generally the slip form rises at a rate which permits the concrete to harden now at what rate does this slip form is raised at what basically this is set up at a rate where the concrete hardens and next this uh, slip form is raised to the next level uh, depending on the hardening now to get that hardening of concrete we use different admixtures as I had explained you in my previous class we have different admixtures which fasten the hardening of concrete which increases the workability of concrete thereby we add different plasticizers we have we add different uh, admixtures we have thereby which reduces the hydration of cement increases the hardening of cement all these uh, uh, factors are there we have water reduction ad admixtures also so basically these things are mixed into this concrete and thereby the desired strength is achieved within a very uh, less time here so it emerges from the bottom to the other form let us see you uh, yeah, see this is the building this is you can see the structure here this is a huge structure you can just see here <coughs> this is the whole setup <coughs> this is the whole setup this is how your formwork has been fixed here your form these are two towers these are two towers basically this is your formwork here these are two towers you can just see here uh, now this formwork has been fixed uh, you can see this whole building is of concrete even these walls are made of concrete these openings are also left for windows these openings are left in the concrete uh, walls here so this is uh, possible when the whole structure is made up of concrete just we keep pouring the concrete we fix the reinforcing steel and this whole formwork is moved upwards using these cranes we have this cranes here this is the big setup of crane here you can see this is basically a concrete uh, mold supplier from here the concrete is poured into these places and the concrete sets in slowly once the reinforcing steel has been fixed here and once after that is fixed and the concrete gets a desired strength we move this whole formwork to the next level next level simultaneously work because we have this uh, top uh, deck also in the top deck simultaneous work uh, works uh, keep uh, keep uh, moving forward the next level works are already set up once this concrete sets it sets in its place and gets a desired uh, strength this formwork is slowly moved upwards using the hydraulic jack and cranes you can see what is horizontal slip form in horizontal slip forming for pavement and traffic separation walls concrete is casted vibrated worked and settled in place while the form itself slowly moves ahead you can you must you can just imagine here vertical slip form is used in those structures which are constructed in uh, which which are which are vertical structures whereas in horizontal slip form these are used for pavements for road construction and for in the, in the road construction this formwork is set up the whole uh, concrete is casted it is uh, vibrated and set there once the concrete sets in we just this uh, formwork moves horizontally in a horizontal manner not vertically it moves in a horizontal um, way you can see this method was initially dev devised and utilized in interstate highway construction initiated during 1950s in 1950s only this type of formwork was set up horizontal formwork was uh, uh, was, was used uh, beforehand then later on with developments vertical slip formwork also came into uh, existence so you can just see this figure and you can understand see this is the road which is being laid this is the horizontal uh, uh, this is the horizontal formwork you can see this uh, whole road this is the horizontal formwork you can see this is the horizontal formwork this road this pavement is being laid this pavement is being laid here once this using this this is the whole setup of formwork you can see here this is the whole setup of formwork concrete is being poured from this side 
um, once the concrete sets in this pavement what happens we wait for the concrete to get its required strength and then this formwork keeps moving forward in a horizontal manner it keeps moving forward in a horizontal manner it is set up in, 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 as per our requirement, what is the size of the road, what is the dimensions of the road, what is the thickness uh, we require for the, uh, with the concrete, what thickness of concrete is required, all these things are set up and this horizontal foam work moves in a horizontal manner and slowly thereby laying the pavement one by one, thereby uh, reducing a lot of time as well as a lot of labor also. You can see this is the horizontal foam work set up, you can just uh, see here uh, this figure. Uh, hope this figure is uh, clear uh, you can see this is the whole setup of form work this is the form work you can see one person managing here one person managing here you can see him here this is the whole setup of horizontal form work now using this horizontal form work this whole pavement <coughs> this whole pavement <coughs> is laid in a very uh, <coughs> good manner once this pavement is laid this formwork is moved forward it is moved forward in a horizontal manner so this formwork works very well in laying of pavements or rigid pavements as well as flexible pavements also this formwork plays a very important role in in uh, in laying of even road surface even road surface sometimes what happens when the these roads or these pavements are laid manually there are high chances of uneven surface being maintained but by using this horizontal slip form this unevenness uh, can be eliminated as and we can get a very even surface even pavement till the end uh, let us see here what is tapered slip forming this is uh, something a little bit uh, more developed type of slip forming you can see slip forming is also used in construction of conical chimneys you have big chimneys which we require uh, which these huge chimneys are required in the thermal power plants as well as we need chimneys in uh, in, in uh, cement cleans also where cement is being uh, manufactured at those places uh, conical chimneys and these chimneys are made up of concrete only see, reinforced cement concrete and so these uh, basically these chimneys are in a tapered form they are in a, they are in a conical shape so how do we achieve that shape you you can just imagine the form work if we don't use this type of form work then it is very difficult to just change the size of the form work and there are high chances of uh, unevenness as well as uh, 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 inaccuracy coming in designing of this chimney you can see cooling towers cooling towers piers and other tall structures involving constant or changing thickness in walls diameters and shapes where the constant diameters and shapes are changing in those conditions this type of form work is very important it uh, gives you a gradual decrease of uh, uh, of thickness of uh, walls can be maintained as well as increase of uh, diameters can be done but this type of form work is very essential in those conditions a form is used with sections which overlap so that one gradually slides over the other basically this form uh, is uh, laid in uh, concrete is poured in layers once that layer is completed slowly the next layer comes up and then different layers can be got one after the other this is commonly done in chimney construction but is not satisfactory for architectural concrete because the lap shows you can see one lap after the other once you have uh, poured concrete and the in the bottom layer then the next uh, lap this joint can be seen joint can be seen one after the other so in uh, in uh, terms of architectural point of view it doesn't look good but uh, whereas if you see the strength uh, parameters it works very well with this while the tapered slip forming process is similar to that used in the standard slip forming it requires greater attention this is uh, greater attention is required here because what happens in uh, conical chimneys we uh, basically this chimney uh, is constructed in a conical form but after going up to a some level the chimney uh, the diameter of the chimney reduces uh, the bottom diameter and the top diameter is different it keeps reducing that uh, specific uh, diameters have to be maintained that specific uh, uh, slopes and the specific angles have to be maintained thereby it requires great attention 
contractor experience and expertise ensure the success of such products uh, such projects so here uh, the expertise uh, expert uh, are required here because the diameter the bottom of the chimney and the top of the chimney are different those should uh, be maintained properly the proper uh, 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 proper uh, angle should be maintained so that the proper conical section is achieved in this type of chimney let us see here you can just see these chimneys uh, here how they are constructed the huge cranes are erected here huge cranes are erected and this chimney you can see as i was telling you the bottom shape is this bottom diameter is huge whereas this diameter is less than this bottom diameter so to achieve this type of construction what we'll have to do is this form work tapered slip form work is fixed and slowly as i had uh, i had told you the thickness of the walls can also be uh, managed as well as the dimension see here the dimension is different for the bottom diameter and slowly thereby it is reducing at as, as it is going to the top level so to maintain this this can be maintained by using this type of tapered slip form it is very good see you can see these are the cranes which are casted here crane huge cranes are casted here this you can see <laughs> from here the concrete is supplied and this type of chimneys can be constructed you can see this opening this or uh, this whole structure is made up of concrete whole structure is made up of concrete other materials are not used reinforced cement concrete is only used you can see this chimneys in this way and this is the opening here so in this type of construction of chimneys we need tapered slip form construction here now what are the advantages the major cost of concrete structure construction is the required form work to retain the concrete till it can be safely de-shuttered see uh, though we have used good uh, if we have good concrete uh, uh, if we have used good grade of concrete also everything has been used very uh, in very uh, good conditions also everything has been mixed properly but still if the form work it is not good then whatever concrete we have placed there are chances of collapse also so thereby the cost of construction uh, it can also be reduced and be able to support itself and other imposed load basically because there are many loads coming onto the form work the whole fresh concrete load basically we have the dead load as well as we have some live loads also coming sometimes what happens some accidental loads also come if the form work is not proper uh, and if it is removed beforehand there are high chances of collapse and huge loads come onto these form work so to uh, so form work should be uh, able to resist all these loads coming onto it thereby this form uh, it is very important good form work plays a very essential role in reducing the cost of construction also the form work needs to be continually removed continuously removed to newer locations and then re-erected see what happens normally what we do is form, form work is uh, erected once the concrete gets a desired strength then again it is removed de-shuttered and again fixed to the next levels here this uh, uh, takes a lot of time also but using this type of form work what we can uh, reduce this time also continuous use of manpower and lifting equipment like cranes is there all this uh, continuous uh, work can be done the work will not stop uh, continuous work schedule is uh, properly planned here in case of slip form building the form work is erected only once and remains intact until the entire structure is completed as i had told you we don't need to de-shutter it once we fix it at the bottom level once the foundation is over substructure is completed once we fix this type of slip form work till the end till the structure is whole structure has been casted and erected we don't need to remove the formwork this is the advantage like in a conventional building or small building you must have seen uh, we fix the formwork then after the concrete has got, got its required strength we again re remove it we de-shutter it again we place it so this is not required once the concrete uh, formwork has been fixed and the concrete gets a desired strength this whole formwork can be just uh, moved upward in the vertical uh, manner till the whole structure is completed here this is the advantage you can see great reduction in cost of form work as well as time saving for re-erection for re-erection uh, time is also uh, saved time can also be saved for re-erection so this it is cost effective also it is not that costly 
uh, so time is also getting saved as well as uh, the uh, construction cost is also getting reduced because of the reduction in the movement of farm work and workers also leads to more safe working condition that also make a, it a major advantage you can see here just because we are not deshattering it again and fixing it again so uh, even this is saving a lot of uh, time as well as working conditions also safe because what happens when these labors handle it when these labors fix it as well as deshatter it there are high chances of sometimes the working conditions are not safe so even this is also satisfied here so this is also the, a good advantage now let us see what are the precautions we need to take here what is important here as we have seen all the advantages but what are the precautions that are needed here to be taken using this type of form work concrete is continuously protected against loss of moisture and rapid temperature changes for seven days so here <coughs> what we can do is see it is protected against loss of moisture and rapid temperature changes for seven days for seven days the loss of moisture should be uh, that should be uh, moisture loss should be uh, saved for that should be seen for seven days this precaution should be taken uh, should be taken unhardened concrete is protected from rain and flowing water that concrete which is not hardened it should be saved from the flowing water as well as rain also one or else what happens if there is a, a immense amount of rain sudden downpour is there this concrete because we don't keep this formwork for a long time uh, then there are high chances of this concrete not setting down properly as well as not getting its desired uh, strength also so it should be saved from uh, rain as well as flowing water also prevent plastic shrinkage so what happens concrete when we pour the concrete there is some amount of some amount of shrinkage also this care should be taken that this plastic shrinkage shouldn't take place so as i had told you in my previous session to reduce this shrinkage we have uh, some add mixtures which reduce this type of shrinkage also so even this can be done but that precaution should be taken very seriously plastic cracks are filled uh, by injection of epoxy resin uh, if there are plastic cracks some cracks do come if that is there they should be filled with uh, injection of epoxy resin this should be filled here so these precautions are very essential they should be taken you can see here this whole uh, uh, structure is being constructed these are concrete walls uh, one after the other these concrete walls are uh, constructed you can see these are the concrete walls concrete wall this is the crane and using this crane hold this this is the setup this is the whole setup you can see here this whole concrete wall this is the this is the concrete wall this is being uh, this is uh, uh, once this was casted the whole formwork was lip, lifted up work and the work for the next level uh, has already started you can see these are concrete walls which are fixed here these are whole concrete walls so once this is completed the next level work is started simultaneously we don't need to wait for the next level of work normally what happens uh, in normal construction conventional construction we wait till the concrete sets in so a lot of time is lost but in huge construction where uh, where uh, the huge skyscrapers are being constructed we need to save the time so that which uh, uh, which is relatively uh, it saves the construction cost also let us see application of slip form construction slip form construction is used for tall structures as i have told you such as towers buildings and uh, dams towers buildings and dams it is used for structure uh, huge structures it is used for dams also construction of dams also as well as horizontal structures such as roadway barriers it is used for huge towers dams as well as horizontal structures as i told you we have vertical slip form as well as horizontal slip form also it enables continuous non interrupted cast in place jointless concrete structure see this is important here we don't get uh, uh, joints also here this is jointless concrete structure because uh, you must have seen in huge construction what happens if this type of formwork is not used uh, there are chances uh, uh, the, the the structural elements uh, you can imagine if a, a big uh, slab in, is being casted it is uh, done in stages in stages what happens the, if the half part of the slab, slab the concrete is placed and the next half part is done in the other day there is a joint which forms and there are high chances of uh, water uh, seepage from that part so this can uh, this type of uh, 
problem can be reduced because using of this type of slip form construction slip forming relies on the quick setting properties of concrete it relies on quick setting properties of concrete so here you can understand here it is uh, uh, proportional to quick setting if we don't have if we don't mix any admixtures where the concrete sets in quickly then this slip form work won't uh, perform uh, as required or as we have imagined here or as we hope and requires a balance between quick setting capacity and workability so these are vice versa if this quick setting is proper then this formwork can move forward to the next level if this quick setting doesn't takes place we don't uh, uh, take precautions and adding those admixtures which can set the concrete quickly then this formwork will not perform well let us see you can see this is the capital uh, gate tower of abu dhabi this was this is a you can just see you can just uh, understand from here how quickly this formwork this is the whole formwork setup this is the whole formwork setup you can see here this setup is also there then uh, it was slowly moved upward and this uh, it is moved upward and this concrete you can see this is this setup is there and the whole concrete has been poured and the next level work has already done now you can just imagine here this uh, capital gate tower of abu dhabi it is it consists of about uh, 100 meters and this 100 meters of height was achieved in only 20 months you can just imagine 100 meters of height it, it has it is very uh, huge 100 floors it, uh, it is very huge building it was just constructed in 20 months it is a very short span whereas if you don't use this type of form work then there are uh, then a lot of time is required lot of time is lost as well as uh, 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 cost of construction also increases the same way this was the king abdul aziz airport was constructed using this is the horizontal uh, form work was used here horizontal form work in laying up of uh, pavements and other things this uh, was constructed uh, way back in 1980s only uh, this is a very big airport uh, so this was constructed using horizontal form work and this was constructed using vertical form work let us see what else this is uh, panama canal in germany panama canal so basically this canal was uh, uh, was was uh, the this canal was again uh, constructed as the this this is how the setup is there this is the canal and this is your whole form work this is your form work which is being which was fixed here and this canal was uh, casted basically this canal was uh, the the size of the canal was increased uh, as the flow of uh, the ships was increasing so this uh, canal size had to be uh, increased there uh, uh, those places also this type of form work was used and continuously concrete pouring was done one after the other and this form work was moved one after the other so uh, so this was also achieved in uh, germany here let us see this from the summary what do we get slip form construction is a construction method in which uh, uh, concrete is poured into continuously moving form as we have seen here concrete is formed in a uh, poured in a continuously moving form we don't need to uh, wait the concrete can be poured continuously there are two types of slip form vertical and horizontal as we had seen vertical is for vertical structures whereas horizontal slip form is used for pavements slip form construction consume very less time but requires careful planning see time is saved here but careful planning is very important as uh, uh, where we have benefits the same way if we don't take proper care then the losses also will be very high uh, process to achieve the high production rates if this care is taken then high production rates can also be achieved due to continuous concrete pouring and slip form construction it produces better concrete jointless and watertight structures as we had seen jointless structures can be achieved as well as watertight structures can also be achieved using this type of form work as the whole uh, 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 the whole st uh, structural element consists of reinforced cement concrete water tight structures can also be achieved using this type of form work slip form systems require very require few but highly skilled work force skilled work force is very much essential here if the work force is not uh, skilled then uh, there might be uh, some some damages also to the structure slip forming is also used in construction of tapered structures as we had seen uh, changing thickness in walls diameters and other shapes tapered structures we had seen conical chimneys and other brick cleans and everything where the structure is tapered it is in a conical shape there also this type of form work is can be used very well 
let us see here now i wanted to show you all this type of structure here standard split forming let us see this structure here see you can just see here this type of structure that is very important here i wanted to show you all you can just see these structures here let us see uh, just i wanted you all to just uh, have a look at, the, at this video you can see this whole big structures you can see this uh, uh, here uh, this is there your uh, big cranes are being casted the big structures are there you can see all these big structures they're huge structures which are which have come up in many parts of the world and these have been uh, uh, constructed using this type of form you can just see this formwork what i was telling you till now i hope uh, this video will be very essential to you all you can see this formwork uh, this is the uh, bottom deck and this is the working deck which is at the top here the labors move from here and then and they construct you can just see here how this whole vertical structures are coming one after the other let us just see here you can just see all these structures which have come up one after the other one after huge structures have come up using this type of formwork only so this formwork uh, is very essential and uh, specially designing huge structures you can just see here you can just see here huge structure this is the conical structure which has come up you can see huge structure uh, so this is in a conical uh, shape you can see this is in the conical shape this is basically uh, you can see here this is a big uh, overhead water tank and you can see this is what i was explaining you all you can see this is the whole setup this is the whole setup this part this is the whole setup once this construction the bottom level is over this whole formwork moves upward it moves upward and the construction keeps taking place continuously you don't need to wait for anything let us uh, see this video here again you will just see you can see this working deck here you can understand now how this formwork takes place see you can just see uh, this is fixed here this concrete is completed then the next level of uh, concrete can be casted simultaneously one after this formwork is moved one after the other the reinforcing steel the reinforcing steel the reinforcing steel you can see here the reinforcing steel uh, you can see here this is the reinforcing steel can be let us stop it and uh, this is the reinforcing steel which can be placed one after the other once the bottom level is over the reinforcing steel can be again put inside and the next level of construction can continue here let us see this here you can uh, hope uh, this video will be very clear to you all to just uh, understand how this formwork is uh, erected and how this formwork can be moved to the next level you can just see here just uh, hope uh, this uh, this you can see once the bottom level of construction is over the next level of work has started this is your working deck which i was telling this is your working deck this is the working deck where the uh, labors move uh, and this is the reinforcing steel which is uh, uh, erected which is being uh, joined here uh, and you can see once the reinforcing steel has been placed again the concrete is poured and the bottom level slowly the concrete ties uh, is hardened and the strength is achieved next level uh, is again raised let us see uh, how this construction takes place you can just imagine here you can just see this uh, huge construction you can see this huge construction you can just see here uh, this is how concrete is being poured from the top you can see all this reinforced uh, uh, bars here and you can see the uh, uh, workers working here this is the working desk here this is the working area working deck this was the working deck where these this uh, labors are moving and this is a reinforcing steel you can see uh, these are the this is a big crane from here the concrete is being poured this is the pipe from here the concrete is being poured let us see how does it work you can just see uh, how the concrete you can this is a very clear picture here this is a very clear picture here you can see uh, how very clear picture you can just see this is the whole reinforcing material is there these the labors are working uh, in the working deck area and the concrete is poured one by one oh shoot
here. You can see this, how the labors are working here and the concrete is poured. This is the concrete, how the concrete is being poured and you can see this is a pin vibrator which is used whether the concrete can settle properly, it can use. Uh, these are the motors, how they are used, are you reinforcing bar, uh, bars are there, you, reinforcing bars are placed one after the other, this is the concrete, it is setting, vibrators, this is a hydraulic jack, this is a hydraulic jack slowly which can be, which can, which uh, uh, moves the formwork upward. You can see uh, how everything is settling down, the concrete is setting down properly, once it settles, it is settling down again this form work is moving upward uh, using the hydraulic jacket is more upward uh, a good surface finish is being given you can see this is a big very big uh, uh, so a circ circular structure is being constructed here basically it is a very huge uh, chimney which is being constructed here you can see here so this is how you can see this huge structures in Netherlands this structure was constructed using this type of formwork only this type of formwork you can just see this construction how it is taking place the whole formwork is fixed the working deck area and this working deck area you can see uh, labors working there you can you can have a very good uh, view from here this is view of, this is the top view where uh, you can see the reinforcing steel being fixed up uh, and this uh, level of work is uh, happening here bottom the bot in the bottom level the concrete has already been been placed this formwork is whole formwork has been raised to the next level and the work is simultaneously happening till the concrete at the bottom level hardens this work is already completed once this casting of reinforcing bars is completed again the concrete is being poured here then the again this formwork is uh, taken to the next level till that time what happens in the working deck area the next level reinforcements are placed everything is done till that time the concrete hardens at the bo bottom level and the next level is ready for pouring of concrete and just here you can you can just imagine from this video rain uh, already um, ready mix concrete has got to the site uh, using this uh, hydraulic jacks that is uh, being uh, sent to the top layers you can see the concrete they are pouring this concrete you're using these vibrators these vibrators uh, 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 remove the air voids and the concrete settles till the bottom you can see this huge structures huge structures are being constructed using this type of formwork only so this formwork is very essential in constructing huge skyscrapers they uh, they save lot of time as well as they save lot of money you can this is the setup of this this is the setup of the whole formwork this is what i was explaining y'all this is how the formwork is set up once this is completed it moves upward using the hydraulic jack this is the crane this is the working deck area it moves upward till that time work takes place in the uh, for the next level the uh, concrete hardens at the bottom level once the, uh, that hardening is uh, finished till that time the next level work of reinforcing steel and other things are completely set up and again the concrete is poured so what is happening here continuous work is going on and the lot of time is being saved here so this is huge construction we have openings for windows also opening for windows are also there everything is being uh, planned very effectively you can see this column with the reinforcement also left for the next level these huge structures are constructed in a very less time so this vertical uh, slip form uh, has uh, with the uh, with the advancement of slip form this new technology a huge constructions are done in a very short span i hope uh, this information uh, this video was effective to you i request all of you all to please go through this lecture if you have any questions you can please comment in the comment section uh, i will answer to your question thank you thanks a lot